Hi there, YouTubers. First, I want to thank you for watching my channel and traveling with me around the world. We are now 2,000 people, and I am so happy and grateful for every comment and every contribution, both good and bad, that everyone has made. Thank you so much. Now, for this video, I would like to welcome you to Malaysia. Nico and I took a short stop here before going to... Um, maybe I'll keep that a secret for now, but feel free to take a guess. Anyways, Malaysia. We are staying in Kuala Lumpur, which we have found very nice and interesting. I'm still needing to visit a bunch of places in KL before that video, but I didn't want to leave you out of the loop with our weekend trip to Penang. Guys, this is a must do if you come to Malaysia. We took a 5 hour bus from KL for about $18 that took us to Georgetown. Please be aware that the bus itinerary is usually not public on the websites, so there may be unexpected stops and you won't know exactly what route the bus is taking. There can also be unexpected issues with timing, so on our way there our bus was about 40 minutes later than the advertised arrival time. And on our way back to KL, our bus was also 40 minutes late to pick us up and ended up arriving to Kuala Lumpur around 2 hours later than programmed. Which caused me some problems with work, so be careful with this if you have things to do. But anyways, let's get to the fun part of Penang. Starting with some interesting facts. Penang is a Malaysian island of the Malay Peninsula in the Strait of Malacca. Penang became the first British outpost in Southeast Asia in 1786. Three main races reside in Penang being Chinese, Malays and Indians. There are also many expats living in the island. Penang is the birthplace of the shoe designer Jimmy Choo. There are giant malls and luxurious buildings in the island. The main attractions are enjoying the food and the beaches, Georgetown, Penang Hills, Penang National Park and the casino. Georgetown is the capital of Penang State and a UNESCO heritage town on the Penang Island. Foreign influences are evident all around the state as you see Buddhist temples, Chinese temples, Indian temples, mosques, and even Christian churches. And I think this whole mix of cultures makes Penang be known as a regional food paradise. Penang is known for being the food paradise of Malaysia with a wealth of street food and hawker food that emphasizes in noodles and fresh seafood. Penang's cuisine reflects the Chinese, Nyonya, Malay and Indian ethnic mix of Malaysia as well as influences from Thailand. So that's it about the facts but as I was saying Nick and I arrived on a Friday night and left on a Sunday morning. So we had limited time and we were on relaxation mode since we were celebrating our third anniversary so we booked a resort called Park Royal Resort. We do recommend that you come with more days in your hands because if you want to do the main attractions, a full day is not enough to cover all of the things to do in Penang. But about Park Royal Resort, the accommodations were solid and the staff was very welcoming at the hotel. We spent most of the time relaxing at the beach with piña coladas and though we got a crazy sunburn and Nick even got the hell's itch, we had a great time at the hotel. We really wanted to take it slow and enjoy ourselves so I'm sure that if you are wanting to relax and unwind, the beaches in Penang can offer that. They are super quiet and peaceful with friendly waves, nice water temperature and they are surrounded by beautiful mountains and nature. In the afternoon, we took a grab to Georgetown, which is around 30 minutes away from the resort. We strolled around the UNESCO heritage town and enjoyed taking pictures and supporting the local and artisanal stores around the town. Enjoy yourselves with no direction because every street is beautiful. Malaysia. I know that Penang is a little bit far. It's a five-hour drive. 
but it's absolutely worth it. This is one of the cutest towns I've been in my life. I'm obsessed. And if you do the street food, you must try their Penang Char Kuei Tiao. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a must eat street side food when in Penang. It's a delicious stir-fried Chinese-inspired rice noodle with seafood or your protein choice. It's similar to Pad Thai, but the noodles are wider than the more well-known Pad Thai noodles. And of course, the taste is different. You can also explore the Jetty Food Court. Guys, there's this really cool food court in the island where you can pick foods from all over Asia, like Thai food, Vietnamese food, Taiwanese food. At nighttime, Georgetown becomes alive and very alive. There's a lot of people walking on the streets, street food stalls ready to go, and the hustle bustle. It's really fun, so enjoy yourselves. We walked for around two hours to get dinner at restaurants that I had researched but it was nearly impossible to get to any of those because of Ramadan. We were not prepared for this and did not have a reservation therefore we could not eat at any of these amazing restaurants. So when in doubt, street food is the best option. But because we were super hot after the sunburn, we wanted to eat at a place with AC so we ended up eating at a Japanese restaurant. I love the restaurant's decoration and their food and I think they have the largest communal table in the town who seemed to be the manager helped us with a situation that we had in hand he was so kind and we're so grateful for him we're really happy we found this place so check it out but as a general note the food in Penang is just amazing now if you're staying for more than one night you would want to explore things other than Georgetown as well there is the Kek Lok Si which is the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia I read that the temple has three sections of culture, being Chinese, Thai, and Burmese. That's super interesting. Besides, the temple is a focal point of festivals of the Chinese community in Penang. Apparently, the Chinese New Year celebrations here are epic. There are many other interesting temples to discover in the island, so do your research and immerse into the culture. We recommend you spend another night around Batu Ferengi. This is the area where our hotel was at and they have a lot going on at night with night markets and restaurants near the beach. They also have Hard Rock Cafe which comes in handy for nice views and drinks. A local recommended it. Also in this area we tried a restaurant called Ferengi Garden. They have great coffee and breakfast options. It's also a super chill and cute decorated restaurant. I'm sure you will like it. Other things to do in this area include the Tropical Spice Garden, Batu Waterfalls, Campsites, Monkey Beach, and the Penang National Park. Monkey Beach is super cute. You can't miss it. But if there's something that I really hope you get to do, it's a national park because it's a beautiful forest and beach reserve that scientists are still researching and exploring. You will get lucky if you see monkeys, but a lot of people do. And I have read several blogs about this adventure and it honestly looks amazing. I wish I would have been able to stay longer just to do this. As I said earlier, another popular attraction is Penang Hills. The staff in a restaurant said the best time to go is in the afternoon. If you go super early in the morning, you may get a lot of fog and little views of the city. But in the afternoon, things clear up a little bit more and at night time, you get the best view of the city. You can take the coach or scale the hill on foot. And keep in mind that it gets a little bit chilly up here, so bring a jacket or a sweater. If you're not into wild adventures, fear not. We saw a huge luxury and all types of malls in different parts of the city so you can get your shopping needs fixed. <laughs> well guys, I think this is my short review on the Penang Island in Malaysia. I know I didn't get to do much, but I could not 
not share this with you. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it and would you come visit? Thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch that video on Kuala Lumpur, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you next week.